for this last part, uh, instead of answering part C, I've asked you to make a box plot of the data. <clears throat> so in this case, we already have uh, three uh, three important pieces, uh, which are the median, Q1, and Q3. So here I'm going to just make a scale for our reference. Okay, I'm going to just mark this will be 10. This will be 15, uh, 20, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, and 26. Sure, we'll go out to 30. Okay. So in this case, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, create the, uh, the box, and I'm going to just start by drawing a line where we have the median. I'm going to draw another line uh, for Q1, and that forms the left edge of the box. I'm sorry. Yes, and uh, Q3 is at 20, and that forms the right edge of the box. So our box looks like this. Okay. To find our uh, upper and lower fences, um, uh, the upper fence is Q3 plus one and a half times the IQR. So I'm going to just write that over here. So in this case, Q3 is 20, and our IQR is 6. So one and a half times 6, that's 9. So our upper fence is 29. Okay, So I'm going to just draw a dotted line up at 29. Our lower fence is Q1 minus 1 and a half times the IQR. So in this case, Q1 is 14 minus 1 and a half times 6. And so 14 minus 9 makes 5. Okay, so our lower fence is actually beyond what we've written on this here, but 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Our lower fence is down here. Okay, so all of our data points, our, our points go from 13 to 16. So all of our data points fit within the upper fence and lower fence, and thus we have no outliers. Okay, but if for some reason we had a point that was 30, or even uh, 40 or 29 and a half, that would be an outlier. And we would indicate an outlier by drawing a circle or making a star out where the outlier exists. But in this case, uh, we do not have any outliers because all of our data um, fit within the lower fence and our upper fence of uh, going from 13 to 26, and our lower fence is down at 5, and our upper fence is at 29. Thank you.